One of the questions that I get asked uh, quite frequently is, uh, what are the best export settings that I can use when I want to send a video to YouTube? And uh, so I thought we'd take a look at that today. One of the things that I like the most about YouTube these days is that you can upload one high quality, high resolution HD video and they will convert that, re-encode that to five or six different types of settings using different bit rates and resolutions, sizes, so that people can choose which size they want to watch, which quality they want to watch based on their internet speed. So if they're living in Africa somewhere with really bad internet, they can choose the very lowest quality setting and this will possibly play on their very slow internet. But if they are living in more developed countries, they might have a little faster internet, they can choose a better quality. And if they uh, have the latest high-speed download internet connection, they can select the full HD version. And if that play is fine and they see the video progress bar advancing faster than the video plays, then, uh, then they're good. They can leave it on the high-definition setting and always watch your videos in the highest quality possible. Uh, they can even go full screen and watch a fairly decent version of that video they began to form self-help groups in their villages uh, on the full screen on their laptop in ways in which they could begin the long road back to reclaiming their homeland and uh, so it's always good to send a very high quality video when you do your uploads to YouTube especially these days when people are starting to watch YouTube as a regular channel on their smart TVs. They can select uh, YouTube as a channel, authorize it, and, and be able to watch your videos on their TV. And if all you have is a very low resolution file that you've uploaded, then uh, they're not going to be able to look at that at a very good size or quality. So as much as possible, if you're editing in a high definition format, it's good to export in a high definition format with a fairly decent bit rate and upload that to YouTube. And we'll talk more about that. Now the next question that people ask is, what file format should I export to? What's the best file format that YouTube will work with? Well, YouTube is, uh, is not great at outlining what they say is the best. Um, if you want to find out what file formats they work with, go to your upload box. And uh, there, when you have your upload screen, go down over here to uploading instructions and here select supported YouTube file formats and here you will get a list of the file formats that YouTube will work with. So of all of these which is the best one to use? Well a little bit depends on the length of your video. If you've got a half hour program, 45 minute, maybe even an hour long program and you've gotten permission to upload those longer lengths then you are probably going to want to choose uh, a file format that adds a fair amount of compression to your video and to make a, a smaller file size. If you were to try and um, encode a half hour program or 45 minute program in the AVI format, you'd find the file size is just unmanageable, too large. Uh, and, and many of the movie formats may be too large depending on uh, uh, what compression codec you use. And uh, so if you've got a long program, you might want to look at uh, some of these other formats, uh, Windows Media Video, uh, MPEG-4, Flash Video, and uh, work with that. And uh, so when it comes time to export from EDIUS, uh, let's say you've got your program ready, set your in and out points, and then uh, hit F11 for your export print to file options. And here we have a whole list of options that we can choose from when exporting uh, your timeline, your video. Now, even though YouTube says that it will take AVI files, that does not necessarily mean that they're going to take all versions of AVI files in all the various wrappers that are available for AVI files. And so if we were, if, say, let's say we had a two minute program and we decided, well, that's short enough that we can export in an AVI format. Let's just go with that. Um, you'll see that you have a, oh, about six or seven different varieties of HVI that you could choose from. 
let's say you went with the Grass Valley HQ. Well, even though that's an AVI file, YouTube may not have the Grass Valley Codex to work with your Grass Valley AVI file. If you wanted to be completely safe, you might uh, just go with Windows Media. And after just clicking that once, confirm that uh, it is highlighting the Windows Media video rather than the Windows Media audio. And uh, with your box checked export between in and out, you are good to go ahead and export. Now you'll be asked to choose some settings um, for uh, your export. First of all, let's give it a name. And you can up here choose where you want to save the video. And then let's change our settings down here. Now, when choosing a good bitrate for YouTube, you need to decide uh, what is going to be the best setting here based on the length of your video. If you've got a very short video, I believe you could go right up to 25,000 here and YouTube would still accept it. That's the standard for high definition is 25,000 uh, for a bitrate. But if you've got a long program and set this to 25,000, that's going to be a huge file to upload. And you might even bump your head up against the two gigabyte uh, barrier. Um, now, times are changing. The two gigabyte is, is no longer necessarily a wall anymore. So we could check that out in YouTube, see if they are now letting you upload uh, files that are larger than two gigabytes. But even then, it's still a little difficult, even if you've got a fast connection, to upload those sizes of video. And the advantage that you would actually see in the end wouldn't probably be that great. And uh, so for high definition videos, you can get away with really 8,000 or say 9,000 for a bit rate here. Let's leave it uh, at the size of your, in this case, mine is 920 by 1080 full HD. And for quality, we can go right up to 100. And audio settings over here, the bit rate is fine for 128. Let's leave it at that. You could go higher if you wanted to, but for YouTube, the quality of the audio still comes through quite clearly at uh, 128. So once you have your settings good, let's save that. You know what I think we might do here is actually, let's cancel out of this. Let's just choose to save a small portion of this video. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll export this five different ways using various options from our export uh, utility here. Upload those to our channel on uh, YouTube, the Edius Tips channel there. And people can then for themselves take a look and see what the results are like based on various export settings. So with that uh, smaller in and out defined, let's go back to our export uh, panel here. Let's first of all try the Windows Media. Let's uh, have our settings. Let's keep it at CBR. Let's say 9000 for a bit rate. Let's uh, have it at 100% quality and let's call this uh, WMV test at 9000. Okay, we'll save that and I'll just put you on pause as we save all of these. Okay, so first one's done. Let's hit F11 again. And this time, let's maybe try the uh, H.264 setting and uh, maybe go with a flash video exporter. Hit export. The FV4 is flash video. And so just as a way to compare apples with apples, let's keep every test at 9,000 for a bit rate. And, and with this little drop down arrow, choose 9M. And uh, the audio bitrate does not need to be 384. Let's drop that back. Uh, well, let's keep it the same as the uh, previous test, 128, and see how that compares. Okay, so with those settings in place, um, let's go ahead and save that, and uh, we'll put you on pause again. All right, uh, let's see what else we could work with. We could try a quick time. Um, now, you notice a lot of presets here. You could take a look at one of those, but I think it's probably best just to define our own here. You'll see that uh, the QuickTime exporter is highlighted here, so we can just hit export and then hit settings. This is basically using the settings that you would typically see in a QuickTime encoder. Um, for YouTube, uh, we can leave it checked for fast start. And then let's go up to here to settings 
Now to just keep everything fair, since we didn't do a multi-pass in Windows Media video, let's leave it here for uh, a single pass encoding. And we would normally want to set this to best, except that when we go to set the data rate based on a bit speed, I believe it automatically goes back to high. So just to keep things consistent, we'll do this at 9000 as well. Let's hit OK. Hit OK, give it a name. Let's just call it QuickTime Test uh, at 9000. Now, if you're looking for very high quality, uh, you might want to use the multi-pass, either in this QuickTime setting or in the Windows Video, the Windows Media Video export. You could, I believe, choose a multi-pass setting, and that might give you just a little bit extra quality. But just to keep things consistent for this test that we're doing, let's just leave all the settings the same. Okay, that one's done. Let's see what else we've got here. We could uh, see what else is under this uh, H264-AVC. We could actually try an H264-AVC. Um, this may not be actually a lot different than your flash video, but let's take a look. Yeah, the output box looks very, very familiar, but let's go ahead and, and uh, test it as well. 9000, I'm assuming we'll be able to choose a 9000 setting. Yeah, this looks very close to the flash video export. I'm guessing it's just using the same engine, but you never know, it might be a little bit different. Let's give it a test. And this is what you have to do sometimes is uh, when you're trying to decide for yourself what's going to be the best, the, what's going to work best for your client, what's going to work best for his end use before you finally deliver you might actually have to do some testing like this and uh, pick a, a file format that is going to be the best for any particular end destination and with each release of EDIUS you might have to do some more testing changes can happen to not only the options that are available but uh, encoding engines can change some get better some might get worse and uh, so you have to keep up with this and uh, Every once in a while, stop, take a breath, and uh, do some testing to determine what's going to work the best for you. Okay, we have four. Let's see. Let's see if we can do one more. Well, maybe just for fun, let's see uh, if YouTube will accept a Grass Valley AVI file. I have my doubts, but you never know. And can we set this? That's the question. We can't really change the uh, bit rate for this. So it may not be a fair test. If they actually do accept it and encode from that file, it won't be a fair comparison to the other videos that we've just uh, exported because this will be working by default uh, probably at somewhere around anywhere between 25 and 50,000 for a bit rate. But let's, let's do it. Okay, so we now have five to upload and uh, see what YouTube does. Let's maybe, let's take a look at and compare the file sizes here. You'll see that this is the reason why AVI is, is not really a good option. Even if they took the Grass Valley codec, you'll see that it's almost a gigabyte for that 45 seconds of video. And uh, so uploading that, working with that is just going to be too cumbersome. If your video is 10 minutes long, you know, you just you don't want to upload that kind of file size. The others are running somewhere around uh, you know, 50,000 or so kilobytes and uh, that's much more manageable. So let's maybe uh, forget about up trying to upload or test the AVI file but let's upload these other four. Let's go to our YouTube. So with our four selected let's just bring those right into our upload window. Okay, three of them uploaded fine. For some reason, didn't like the flash video. Let's uh, try that again. Go to the upload area. Grab the flash video. Doesn't want to take it. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, supported file formats again. Oh, okay, I see. It uh, wants the F. LV file format rather and uh, our flash our version of flash video took the uh, F4V sometimes uh, what you can do is just change the 
extension. Just try it, see if that works. F L V. Well, at least it's going to upload it, whether be able to read it or not. We'll see. Okay, we'll put you on pause again. Okay, well, changing the uh, file extension on that Flash video seemed to work. And just because it is a Flash video that we uploaded does not necessarily mean that once YouTube re-encodes it, it's five different ways, that it's going to end up as a Flash video. And I just uh, tested this one, this Flash video, on my iPad, and sure enough, it played fine. So YouTube is obviously taking the Flash video file format and re-encoding it to something else that will play on iPads and Apple devices. So no worries, Flash, this Flash video is an acceptable way to export from EDIUS and an acceptable way to upload to YouTube and people with Apple devices will still be able to see your video. Now, question is, which one looks the best based on this test? And uh, it's a little hard to say. I'm going to leave it up to you, I guess, uh, to decide what you think is best. If you have fast internet, I would uh, recommend changing this to the HD setting, the 1080p, uh, so that you can look at it and compare uh, everything in HD. If you want to, you could go full screen for uh, a better look at the various tests here. And where I like to make my test uh, or comparison is in the dissolves. It's the dissolves that really put compression software to the test. That was the MPEG-4, and that looked pretty sloppy on the dissolves. Let's see if it's any better in, in the others. Let's try the Windows Media video. Change that to high def. And we go full screen. Well, that dissolve is a lot better. I think you'll agree. So I would go with Windows Media. Based on that uh, comparison, I would go with Windows Media. Between those two, I would pick Windows Media Video. But let's take a quick look at the others. The QuickTime test. Let's try that. Change that to HD and go full screen. That's a pretty clean dissolve as well. But uh, between the two, I think I prefer the Windows Media Video. So, uh, you can make your own assessment uh, based on these tests. That's one of the reasons why I put them up, so people can, with their own eyes, take a look at it. I think of what I've had the opportunity to observe based on the amount of time I've, I've taken a look at these is that my choice would go with the Windows Media Video version. And that is probably also the easiest uh, to export from EDIUS. And uh, so my vote would go with that. I think you'll end up getting excellent results if you choose that method. Just remember to do your in and outs for the section of the video that you want. Hit F11, print to file, and choose Windows Media Video. Make sure you've got the right one highlighted there hit export and change your settings to something like 9000 and uh, make sure your settings here match your project settings put this to 100 and your audio rate is fine at 128 give it a file name and you should be good to go I know this tutorial could have been a lot shorter if I had have just done all my testing and then given you a recommendation but I believe that by doing it this way you can also affirm for yourself what is going to be the best and by putting these samples up there, anybody can go and make their own uh, assessment based on the hopefully objective testing here that we've done. So for now, I believe that uh, that does it for export settings for YouTube.